the service of the poor is to be prefer to be preferred to all else. My dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate today the memory of Saint Vincent de Paul, popularly known as the Saint of Charity. Today we remember the magnificent life of this Saint of Charity, Vincent de Paul, born in 1581 and died in 1660. Vincent was born in Gascony in France. He completed his studies at the University of Toulouse and in 1600, he was ordained priest at the age of 20. Eventually, Vincent became parish priest in Paris, France. Vincent de Paul is the founder of two religious congregations. The Congregation of the Mission, known as the CM Fathers, or popularly known as the Vincentian Fathers, here in the Philippines at Adamson University, and the Daughters of Charity, or the DC Sisters, who are administering La Concordia College as well as Hospicio de San Jose. The male congregation, the Vincentian Fathers, was established for the purpose of providing spiritual formation for the clergy and the relief of the poor. And with the assistance of St. Louis de Marillac, Vincent also founded a female congregation primarily engaged in the care of the poor, the orphans, and the sick. Reading one of the letters of Vincent de Paul will reveal to us the heart and mind of the man who has been declared by the then Pope Leo XIII as the patron of all charitable institutions. Part of the letter goes, and I quote, According to St. Vincent, we should not judge the poor by their clothes and their outward appearance, nor by their mental capacity, because the poor are often ignorant and uncouth. Christ chose to be born in poverty. He chose poor men as his apostles. Christ himself became the servant of the poor and so shared their condition that whatever good or harm was done to the poor, Christ himself said he would consider done to himself. Because God loves the poor, God also loves the lover of the poor. The service of the poor is to be preferred to all else and to be performed without delay. If at a time set aside for prayer, medicine or help has to be delivered to some poor man, go and do what has to be done, offering it up to God as a prayer. Do not feel uneasy. Do not feel guilty because of prayers interrupted by the service of the poor. For God is not neglected if prayers are put aside in order to help the poor. Charity takes precedence over any rules. Everything out to tend to charity above everything else. End of quote. My dear brothers and sisters, Vincent was so convinced that the service of the poor should be his primary apostolate. And consequently, he advised his priests to devote themselves entirely to the people in poorer towns and villages. He described the daughters of charity as servants of the poor whose convent is the hospital, whose chapel is the parish church, 
and whose cloister is the streets of the city. Toward the end of his life, Vincent suffered much from serious ill health. And in the autumn of 1660, Vincent died calmly in his chair on September 27. Pope Clement XII canonized Vincent, the peasant priest, in 1737, and Pope Leo XIII proclaimed him patron of charity, outstanding among which is the congregation that bears his name and is infused by his spirit. Amen.